me more about that nightclub shooting in Fort Myers. A club shooting in downtown Orlando over the weekend left three people hospitalized. That happened just minutes before another shooting claimed the life of a man who had just finished performing at that club. And now investigators are working to see if the two are connected. That performer was shot and killed at a gas station on Kirkman and Old Winter Garden Roads moments after performing at venue 578, where three other people were shot just a block away from the club. News 6 is Mark Lehman is live at the gas station this morning. And Mark, the victim's family is demanding answers. Yes, more than 100 gathered here last night comforting each other, but they also have so many questions about what happened here outside of this gas station early yesterday morning. One look here behind me, you can see several candles are burning next to flowers and heartfelt messages, and it's clear to see that the father of four meant so much to so many. We miss him so much. I'm going to miss that smile, and I'm going to miss that phone call telling me that he loved me. Loved ones coming together to remember and mourn the loss of Ladravius Bass, the vigil coming less than 24 hours after Sharon Seagram's grandson was gunned down. He was my first grandchild, and he was a loving, kind, hardly person. Family members tell News 6 this is one of the last pictures taken of Bass. He just finished performing at venue 578 early Sunday morning, a spot near the club becoming a crime scene just after bar closed. Orlando police say three people were wounded in a shooting. That's terrible. That's terrible. Nobody should take nobody's life. That is terrible. It don't make no sense. Less than an hour later, deputies say Bass was killed and another woman wounded in a shooting outside this 7-Eleven. Family and friends this morning pleading for justice. They're losing their lives and we have children out here who are fatherless, who are motherless. And it's not fair to the kids. Now, it's important to note at this time that investigators are not saying if the, the shooting that happened here outside of this 7-Eleven is in any way connected to the shooting that happened near venue 578. Right now, we're working to get those questions answered this morning as the investigation continues. Justin. Mark Lehman, Life Force. Thank you, Mark.